and part of our role is to bring out the genius in their kids, whether that genius fits into what we determine, you know, like what the adults determine, right? Like one of the, one of the struggles I've really had with education is the, the notion that all three of us in the space right now could all say we're successful, but we totally define that on different things, right? How we define what success means to us. But then in education, what we do too often is we def define success for our kids and we tell mm -hmm. them this is what it will look like. So how do you, how do you, how does your organization help, you know, kids bring out that genius, even though it's not necessarily, and I don't know if this is the right terminology, like a traditional track, like and I, when I say traditional, it's like what most people know or experienced in school. Right. And I'm not saying it's like a wrong track, but it's just, it's not what most people experience. So how do you, how do you bring out that, that, that genius in their kids, even if it doesn't necessarily fit into the perception of academics. And I know it's not, I'm not like you don't teach like English class or math classes, but how do you bring that out in, in your students? So if I can, you know, kind of preface it with is again, as we were prepping, and I see, I've, I've explained this to a lot of people in a lot of different settings. We have narrowly defined what it means to be smart mm -hmm. in, 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 at least in our culture. So smart means I'm a good reader. I'm a verbal learner. I can write. I'm good at listening and retaining information. I can take notes again, all verbal skills. If I can do those things well, I can do well in, in the traditional way that we deliver education to students. Be so most teachers were really good at school because we're verbal learners. Again, we get, you know, I, I could memorize lots of things. Um, and so we've defined that as how you're smart. But what really got me thinking about this is the number of people that I know in my life who say I was a terrible student and yet they're hugely successful. They run their own businesses. Um, or, or whatever it is they do, they're hugely successful in life, but they'll say, I was a terrible student. And so I've been thinking about this over the years. Maybe the issue isn't that they were terrible students, but we only gave them one way to show that they were smart. So one of the things I love about what we do, and really this is work I was trying to do in my previous K-12 districts, is how do we make the learning environment more focused on how the student learns? So... I'm really good at hands-on learning. And I also learned this when I was working in an elementary school as an assistant principal. We, the, the way we were teaching math with these various units, there was geometry and algebra and all these. And I was watching students who were really struggling with some components of math, but when we got to geometry and they were doing a lot of building, I mean, they were just blowing it out of the water. They just, they just got it because that, they had this great spatial sense, but that didn't necessarily translate in another area. And so I think that what we try to do here is, or what we do here on our what we call labs so the career tech side is students are learning by doing so we have a pre-nursing program so many of those students are going to want to be nurses or other things in the medical field they don't read about drawing blood and take a test on drawing blood uh -oh. they draw blood I'm really get sick. i don't know if this i don't know if that's the avenue you want to go down with me i'm really sick <laughs> but but we don't you know we don't we have a culinary program we don't our, we teach our students about how to debone a chicken and they might, we show them and demonstrate it, but then they have to do it themselves. And so they have the opportunity to learn by doing, and they have the opportunity to show their learning by doing what we would call performance assessment in that more traditional school um, environment. And so one of the things we're working on and, and, and Shelly's really leading this work, um, I've asked her to lead this work with our team is, how do we take that philosophy of career tech learning and imply, apply that in our academic classrooms? We do teach math, we do teach English, we do teach social studies, we do teach science. There's, we, on our high school side, there's still high school students, they have to take all of those courses. And so really thinking about not what's one way that students can learn and show they're smart, but what are other ways that students can learn and then show their learning?